Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to P Tech Chemistry Channel. My name is Dr. On. In this tutorial video, we go through these combined science. This is for the 14 to 16 years old combined science curriculum, where the three sciences are combined into one subject, and as such, the contents are a bit diluted. This is the first part of these organic chemistry tutorials for combined sciences. Uh, the contents are a bit more diluted, which means what we're going to cover are mostly on the surface kind of thing. Let's get started with these names and formulas. So we have organic compounds. Organic there refers to compounds that contain carbon and hydrogen predominantly. So state that a structural formula. So this term called structural formula. Unambiguous means without any doubt. So you gotta be able to see the structure. That's why it's called that's why it's called structural formula because you gotta be able to see how the atoms are arranged specifically. There is also something called display formula. Display formula means show all the atoms and also all the bonds. So you gotta show all the atoms and all the bonds. That's the difference between display formula and structural formula. Structural formula, it's more simplified, but then it's not as simplified as molecular formula uh, molecular formula is basically you know just showing how many atoms you have for each one it will make more sense as we go through the details later on now we got a name and we got to draw and we got to interpret both the structural number one as well as the display formula number two of this thing called unbranch unbranch there means straight chain straight chain means they don't branch out for obvious reason so these are alkanes where n equal to the number of carbon atoms so when you have alkanes you have cnh 2 n plus 2 this is a very important general formula when you have alkenes you have cnh 2 n how we differentiate between them is this in the name actually the name is wrong there it should have been alkane not alkenes Oh, wait, it is alkene there. A L K A N E S. So the next one is alkene with the K E N E. So the pronunciation and the spelling is extremely important there. So alkene as well as alkene there. So we have three carbon atoms, up to three carbon atoms per molecule there. So that means n equal to one, n equal to two, n equal to three there. So I mean, that is basically what it is, and we'll talk more about it. Uh, very very soon so state the type of compound present given the chemical formula ending in n if it ends with a and e so that means it is alkane and it's got cnh2n plus 2 general formula or it could be alkene ending with e and e so that means it's an alkene and it's got cnh2n general formula so they could ask you in terms of this molecular this one is just the total number of atoms without showing you the structure because then there will be structural formula without showing you all the atoms or all the bonds because then that is display all the atoms and display all the bonds there is display formula there now the number of carbon atoms will give you the name so if you have one carbon atom it start with a meth m-e-t-h anything with m-e-t-h in front means one carbon with if e-t-h that is two carbon there with prop it means there are three carbons this is how it goes you can get methane ethane propen that is a-n-e alkane c-n-h-2-n plus two the second part of the molecule tells you whether you are alkane or alkene. So the A N there could be A N E, the E N there could be E N E. So you could tell that alkane with the A N E, alkene with the E N E there. So the difference there is alkane only contain carbon carbon single bond. Very, very important. Only carbon carbon single bond. When you have alkene, you have carbon carbon double covalent bond. That is to do with covalent bond. These are all molecules, covalent bond, sharing of electrons between the nonmetal and the nonmetal. Double covalent bond there. Now let's play around with this thing called molecular formula, structural formula, and display formula. Display formula means show all the atoms and all the bonds. So you gotta show individually all the atoms and all the bonds, such as this carbon. This is from year nine, year nine covalent bonding dot and cross 
and you have done these where before we do the dot and cross we think about carbon with two four electronic configuration these are the first shell number two two there so in the first shell maximum two electrons in the second shell this is a group four element stated in the periodic table group four element will have four electrons in the outer shell two plus four six electrons altogether for carbon atom because carbon has six protons these are from year nine atomic structure so here the carbon will share four electrons one to this hydrogen one to this hydrogen one to the hydrogen and one to that carbon form four covalent bond that is probably the most important takeaway message that you can get from this tutorial carbon form four covalent bonds because you want to share four electrons in order to complete your outer shell you share four electrons therefore you form four covalent bond this carbon one two three four this carbon now has fully filled outer shell if you draw the dot and cross then you will get dot cross hydrogen dot cross hydrogen dot cross hydrogen dot cross hydrogen so one electron from each of the atom one covalent bond is two electrons there this is dot and cross this is display formula just showing you the bond there so molecular formula molecular formula is the actual number of atoms in one molecule so in the whole molecule how many atoms do you actually have just total up for instance you have this thing called propent because this is carbon carbon single covalent bond and you could see that this is cn h2n plus 2 because 2 times 3 equal to 6 6 plus 2 equal to 8 so it's cn h2n plus 2 that is alkane there and if it is alkane the name will end with a n e and it's got 1 2 and 3 carbon all single bond between the carbon carbon so the name will have prop and then you have a n e just like what we discussed before three carbons start with prop two carbons start with if one carbon start with meth and it's an alkane with carbon carbon single bond it's got a cn h2n plus two general formula and that is for alkane cn h2n plus two alkane therefore the name is propane molecular formula three carbon c3 h8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 two times the number of hydrogens based on the carbon plus another one another one so plus two hydrogen for the hydrogen on each end there in terms of structural formula you gotta see the structure see the connectivity how are the atoms connected to each other so we could see from the first bit here we have this thing called ch3 yeah c and then h3 what is that bonded to that is bonded to a ch2 so that is CH2 there. And next up, we have, last but not least, we have this thing CH3 again. So I have CH3, CH2, CH3 there. So that is pretty much what structural formula mean. You could see the CH3 is bonded to CH2. The CH2 is bonded to this CH3 on the left, and this CH3 with a darker navy blue on the right-hand side. If you go back to E10, it has got CH3 there. So carbon form four covalent bond. It forms a single bond to the hydrogen because hydrogen only one electrons in the outer shell. Going back to year nine, only one electrons in the outer shell. They just need to share one electrons to complete the first shell, and therefore hydrogen always form a single covalent bond. So CH three means that, and then what it means on the other one, the CH three is bonded to a CH three. So I've got another CH three. We could see that carbon-carbon single covalent bond, therefore it's alkane. We could work out the molecular formula, total up the number of carbon, one carbon, two carbon, one carbon, two carbon. So C2, total up the number of hydrogen, three plus three is six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So C2H6 there. Going back to the methane, one carbon alkane. The molecular formula and the structural formula is exactly the same. Structural formula is the same there because there is only one carbon bonded to four hydrogen. So you really can't do anything else besides just writing CH4. Unlike this ethane, CH3, CH3 is ethane. CH3, CH2, CH3 is propane. You could see that we have added um, you know, more carbon and we have added more hydrogen. If you go from CH4 to C2H6, 
you have added one carbon, you have added two hydrogen. One plus one give you two, four plus two give you six. Going from C2H6 to C3H8, the next member in our cane, you add one carbon, six plus two give you eight. You could see that the next one will have plus CH2, plus CH2, and so on and so forth for every member in the alkane family. Alkane formula, general formula, CNH2N plus 2. The number of carbons will determine what is the name in front, whether it's MIF for 1 carbon, if for 2 carbon, prop for 3 carbons. It will have carbon-carbon single bond, therefore the name end with A and E there. Talking about etint, if we have etint, well, we, could, we don't have methane because in order to have alkene, you must have a carbon-carbon double bond. If you have a carbon-carbon double bond, one and two, so minimum, you need two carbons because in order to have a double bond between carbon and carbon, you need minimum two carbon. So the first member in the alkene family is called ethene. So it's got CnH2n, general formula. So when n equal to two, so 2 times 2 equal to 4. That's why you got 4 hydrogen there. This is the structural formula. Structural formula, you can see the connectivity. In terms of the display formula, you would have done that in year 9. Year 9 covalent bonding, dot and cross, because in year 9, you already done the vocabulary as part of the dot and cross diagram. The carbon form single covalent bond to hydrogen, and then these are the carbon form single covalent bond to hydrogen as hydrogen only has one electron in the outer shell they just want to share one electron to complete the outer shell hydrogen always forms single covalent bond like that carbon with two four electronic configuration the first shell maximum two electrons the second shell is not fully filled it's in group four so it's got four outer shell electrons carbon will share four other electrons in order to complete the second outer shell here. So carbon form 1 and 2, so therefore we still have double bond there, so that when we look at this carbon on the left, 1, 2, 3 and 4 covalent bond, we look at this carbon on the right, 1, 2, 3 and 4 covalent bond. Display formula, display formula means show all the atoms and all the bonds. What was the important takeaway message there was that carbon form four covalent bonds because carbon wants to share four of its outer shell in order to complete its outer shell there. That is not the dot and cross. The dot and cross happen to be something that is often asked in exam. So I'm going to convert that into the correct dot and cross diagram. So the correct dot and cross diagram will be carbon dot cross hydrogen dot cross hydrogen and then I have another carbon dot cross hydrogen dot cross hydrogen so that is your single covalent bond between carbon and hydrogen just like that this is the single covalent bond between hydrogen and hydrogen just like that and that's on the other ch2 it's pretty much this is this thing on the left this is this thing on the right and then i have got a double covalent bond each of these line is a single covalent bond so what i do is i would have each electron from this carbon, one electron from that carbon, single bond. But I have double bond, so this carbon gives two electrons, this carbon gives two electrons. So altogether, I have four electrons. This is the common dot and cross diagram from year 9. This is simply a recap, and this is nothing new because this is from year 9. Covalent bond, dot and cross. In display formula, we don't show dot and cross, we show the lines as covalent bond there. Looking at the next bit in the series, this is propene. We look at the name, the E and E there refers to alkene. Alkene will have carbon-carbon double bond, it will have CnH2n, general formula. So with the prop there, so the prop there refers to three carbon because MIF is one carbon, if is two carbon, prop is three carbon. So when you have n equal to three, so n equal to three, three times two equal to six, so I will have six hydrogen. How does the structural formula look like? Well, let's have a look at the display formula. We started out with this carbon-carbon double bond. So must have carbon-carbon double bond. There are three carbon altogether. Only one of the carbon is carbon-carbon double bond. Then hydrogen. Then hydrogen, carbon form, four covalent bond. You got one and two there. So you must have two more hydrogen. 
Now we look at this central carbon, it's got one and two and three. So I'm just left with one more covalent bond. So there is only one more hydrogen there. Now this carbon only form one covalent bond there. So therefore I have three covalent bond like this. So that's how I get this structure here. How about if you draw it the other way around? What do I mean by the other way around? Well, you could have carbon, carbon, and then double bond on the other carbon. We're going to do the exact same exercise. This carbon form four covalent bond. So this one is already one covalent bond. So that means I must have three more covalent bond like this. This central carbon form one, two, and three. So therefore I am left with one more covalent bond to the hydrogen. Now this carbon at the end there forms two covalent bond already. So that means I'm left with two more carbon, uh, two more hydrogen, I beg your pardon. So you could see that these and these are exactly the same because you could rotate, you could rotate the molecules and then you could get the exact same molecule. So they are not different, they are the same. In terms of the structural formula, you got to see the connectivity. If I look at this diagram on the left, which is the same as this diagram that is already drawn on the paper. So you have CH2 because C and then H2. It's a simplified version of your display formula. We don't show all the bonds. We show the double bond because that is important for alkene CH. And then we have CH3. So by looking back, we could see that this CH2 is double bonded to this carbon, which is has a covalent bond to the hydrogen. It's also bonded to another CH3 with this fragment. But I said it could also look like this thing on the right hand side there. So you could also write CH3, CH double bond, CH2. So CH3, CH double bond, CH2 there. So this and this are exactly the same because just like the structure could be rotated around, you could rotate this molecule around and the two structural formula are exactly identical. They are the same. Whichever one you write will be correct because it's simplified and the carbon still form four covalent bond based on the display formula which you had drawn. And again, you could see that from C2H4 to C3H6, so C2H4 to C3H6, you have added one carbon, two to become three plus one carbon, four to become six, you have added two hydrogen. So for every member in the series, you have added another CH2 so that the next one, when you have um, C4H8, then you have added another CH2 to go to the next alkene and so on and so forth. Just to summarize what have we done so far, we have basically just come across the two general formula of alkanes and alkenes. Alkanes has the name ending with A and E and it's got only carbon-carbon, single covalent bond. Alkene has the name ending with E and E and it has got carbon-carbon double covalent bond. Depending on how many carbon you have in this longest chain, which is unbranched, so that means straight chain. So this would be like one carbon, this would be like carbon-carbon, and then carbon-carbon-carbon like this, but this is just alkene. If you have alkene, you have carbon-carbon double bond there. So things like alkene, methane, ethane, propane, CN, H2N plus two, Display formula show all the atoms and the bonds. Carbon form four covalent bonds because carbon has four electrons in the outer shell as it's a group four element. And therefore, you want to form four covalent bond to share four electrons to complete your outer shell there. You could see when n equal to one, two n plus two is four, n equal to two, two n plus two is six, n equal to three, two n plus two is eight. Structural formula is based on the display formula. Show the connectivity. It's a summarized version of display formula. Similarly, for the ethene, we have carbon-carbon double bond being our characteristic feature of alkene, CNH2N general formula. Structural formula-wise would show the carbon-carbon double bond. And when you draw the display formula, make sure you count carbon from four covalent bonds. Hydrogen can only form single covalent bond. Therefore, complete the rest of the carbon atoms with the number, correct number of hydrogen atom. You can get the structural formula. Should be able to get back the molecular formula as the number of carbon. And then the number of hydrogen is two times the multiple of carbon because of the CN H2N general formula of alkenes there. So I think I'll leave it there for this uh, first part of these lecture tutorials on alkenes and alkenes there. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click the button on the bottom right to subscribe to my channel. Follow me at ptet.chemistry. That's at ptet.chemistry on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Telegram to get connected. I'll see you in the next lecture tutorial.